don't these fruits look delicious? Well, what if I tell you that they can blow up in your face? These are the fruits of the sandbox tree. It's a giant that can grow up to 200 feet and stays green all year round. It grows in tropical places like the Amazon rainforest and some parts of Africa. Almost everything about this monster tree is poisonous. Its bark, leaves, and even seeds. The tree looks unfriendly. It's covered in small conical studs. Its fruits, which look like small pumpkins, not only are poisonous, they have their own twist. When they're ripe, they burst open and shoot seeds out at super fast speeds. It's not all that bad though. Sandbox tree wood is light, so it's handy for making canoes. Long ago, indigenous people made arrow poison from its sap too. The wood is also used for making furniture, and the tree's seeds can be used to make biodiesel and soap. We know holly as those berries used in Christmas decorations, but the holly tree has a very long history. It was around even before the dinosaurs disappeared. Over millions of years, different types of holly trees have adapted to different environments, like mountains and forests, and some have become extinct. Today, they can still be found in many parts of the world. Holly trees have pretty red berries, but don't eat them. Only birds can do that. These berries are toxic to humans and can even be lethal. These things, although they're called berries, are actually a type of fruit called droops. They come in different colors like red, brown, black, and sometimes green or yellow. Some trees are so dangerous, they come with a warning sign, like the manchineel tree. Its fruits resemble regular green or yellow apples, but eating one could be the last thing you ever do. Every part of it, from the bark to the leaves to the fruit, contain toxins. Eating it causes throat discomfort and stomach problems. Even touching it might be risky. Forget trying to get rid of it. Anyone who tries to cut it down gets punished instantly. It shoots out a blinding ooze that can make you temporarily blind. And if that sap touches your skin, you'll end up with burns and blisters. Jatropha fruit looks like a delicious apricot-like thing, but it has another name, black vomit nut. If you dare to eat it, your throat will feel like it's on fire. Then, your stomach will hurt a lot. It can even mess up your breathing and heartbeat, making you feel really sleepy and even passing out. The tree originally comes from the warm regions of the Americas, like Mexico and Central America, but now it's found in many tropical and subtropical places worldwide. In some places, people eat edible varieties of the Jatropha plant. In Mexico, they roast and grind the seeds to make snacks or dishes like tamales and soups. The seeds can actually be useful. They're full of oil and other stuff like protein and sugar. This can be used to make a special kind of fuel called biodiesel. But please, don't use the oil from this plant for cooking. Check out these leaves. They're shaped like little hearts. Aren't they cute? And if you find these brownish clusters that kind of resemble pears, those are the fruit of this tree from Southeast Asia, called Pangium eduli. When you open them, there's this soft, creamy pulp. And even though it looks yummy, it's not. However, there is an edible part of this fruit, its seeds. They're usually used as seasoning and spice in dishes, not eaten on their own. Cooking them is kind of troublesome though. First, you have to get them out of the fruit, Next, you boil them. After that, you bury them in ash, banana leaves, and earth for 40 days. Don't be surprised. Soaking or wrapping can help wash out some of its most toxic chemicals, hydrogen cyanide. But after that stage, they become quite healthy and good for your health, packed with vitamin C and iron. Once prepared, these seeds are used in various dishes. In Indonesia, for example, they're ground up to make a thick black gravy called rawan. In Malaysia and Singapore, one of the dishes is chicken cooked with these seeds. Even tribes in Borneo use them to make a sour tasting fermented fish dish. 
look at this round, shiny brown shell with a seed inside. It's surrounded by a textured husk, kind of like hickory nuts. Well, these nuts contain something called tannic acid, which is poisonous to animals like cows and even to humans. Even the leaves, shoots, and bark of this tree can be a bit toxic. The tree is called Ohio buckeye, or Texas buckeye, or simply horse chestnut. Fun fact, Native Americans had a way to eat those. They boiled the nuts to remove the poison. They also used them in various ways, like making necklaces or extracting tannic acid for leather. The tree itself isn't the best for making things because it's soft and light. And because of its big, messy fruits, it's not the best choice for a tree along the street. But people seem to really like it in Ohio. They even make a candy that looks like the nut, dipping peanut butter fudge in chocolate. It's a popular treat, especially during Christmas and college football season. Beware of poke berries. They're those tempting, juicy looking berries you might spot in late summer or early fall. While birds and animals can eat them without any problems, they're poisonous to people. They come in grape like clusters of purple black color. And the plant itself stands tall with vibrant purplish pink stalks up to eight feet high. But eating just a handful could be extremely harmful or even lethal. Another grape like thing is called the Canada Moonseed Vine. It has leaves and bunches of fruits that kind of resemble grapes, but they can be extremely dangerous. To avoid this mistake, take a closer look at the seeds inside the fruit. While grapes typically have two to four round or oval seeds, moon seed fruits have just one seed in each, and it's shaped like a weird mix between a crescent moon and Pac Man. In June, you can also find this beautiful vine in the forest called American Bittersweet or Bittersweet. The vine is quite strong and can grow long, woody stems that twine around other plants, sometimes even choking them. But the most important part is its orange fruits, about the size of a pea. Once again, poisonous to humans, but loved by birds. The plant got its name because these fruits resemble those of common nightshade, which was also called bittersweet by colonists. This helps to differentiate it from a similar looking plant called Oriental bittersweet from Asia. But it's pretty, so it can serve as a beautiful decoration. Speaking of nightshade, its name is quite telling. The plant's dark cherries are super dangerous, even in tiny amounts. What's worse, it can be easily mistaken for twinberry honeysuckle or other fruits. One way to spot it is by its pointy oval shaped leaves. It usually blossoms from June to September. Funny enough, this plant belongs to the same family as tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes. This family also includes dangerous plants like tobacco, belladonna, and mandrake. The last creepy plant is called doll's eyes. These plants have white berries, and eating them can stop your heart and even lead to the worst outcome. The berries look creepy, like a bunch of small eyeballs connected by red branches. It's pretty creepy looking, right? You can find these scary plants on the eastern side of the US and Canada. They bloom over summer. Some people grow these plants in gardens for their unique appearance, but they need specific conditions. Also, be careful around unfamiliar plants, berries, and fruits. Don't forget to check them up online. That's it for today. So, hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.